Hey folks, how's everybody making out this morning? Uh, Sunday morning here, guys, 920. We're getting it started early. Um, I've got a lot to do today. Uh, one of those uh, Sundays where it's, uh, what do we call it? Catch up day. We got um, a lot of running around to do. Um, you know, get ready for the week. Get ready for the week. Get ready for life. Um, but before I did that, um, or do that, I bring to you today, um, the Jack Wolf, the newest Jack Wolf, and that is the Havelina Jack. This is the Havelina Jack. Uh, I'm going to give a first impressions on it and, uh, well, let you guys get down the road, I guess. Um, first, before we do that. Let's talk about this new slip uh, that I got from, um, shout out to Lefty EDC for giving the heads up on this one. He did a review on this one and, um, well, I just couldn't, I, I wanted to try it out for myself. I've never had a clip slip before and now that I've got one. It's really fantastic. It's really fantastic. It clips on the inside of your pocket. You go to use your knife, you pull it right out. This stays inside your pocket. You're done with your knife, goes right back in the slip. Easy as that. Uh, really, really nice uh, clip slip here. Really, really high, high, high quality uh, leather here. Um, constructed uh, just I mean, you know, you can see what you're looking at here. Very, very, very nice. Um, I got, if, you, if you're interested in getting one of these, um, e, um, ODC for EDC um, is selling these on, his, on their website. So all you got to do is go over there and um, check these out. Uh, I tell you what, they are... They're great slips. They, these are great slips. And if you want to try a clip slip out, this is the one you want to, you know, try out one of these. I'm telling you, you'll love it. I've been using this since I got it. Since I got it. Um, so that's the slip. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. My uh, Ultra... This is an ultra fine rod, Spyderco, ceramic rod. And um, I, these are must haves, um, these ceramic rods. Uh, for touch ups, for touch ups and this bringing your edge, I mean, just making your edge super, super keen. Very, very keen. You're not sharpening with this. This is not meant for sharpening. First off, you won't get anywhere if you try and sharpen uh, with this, but uh, this is just for refining, refining that edge, man. All right, guys, here we're here. Here it is. This is like I said. This is the Havelina Jack. Um, now I went with uh, the orange fat carbon on this one, and uh, you know pictures. Uh, show you one thing, but when you get it in hand, it's always different, right? But the 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 um the coloring on this one, I could not be more pleased with. It's not real, real orange, deep orange, where it's in your face orange. Some of those orange colors are very, very vibrant and bright, which I don't mind uh, them neither. But I'm saying for this application this is just fan just right look at the uh, orange i mean it is absolutely fantastic i couldn't i just couldn't be happier um you can see this back spine i mean how i can just i can sit there and stare at that back spine all day i mean it is that well constructed you know what I mean? Um, I might as well go on with uh, what pattern this is. If you haven't noticed the 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 ups the bend 
here. This is called a sow belly, sow belly pattern. Um, and if you've been with my channel for any amount of time, you know that I am a very, very big sow belly uh, person. I love that pattern. Uh, so this one really, really speaks to me, right? I'm not going to go all crazy and get into, you know, I'm just not going to get crazy like that. Um, but you can see that, 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 uh, how it comes up here. It's just beautiful. And in hand, carrying it in hand makes it an ergonomic dream. First off, we're getting a little ahead of ourselves right now. Let's pop open the blade and see the blade first. Listen to this lockup. I mean, guys, the lockup is really tight. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the blade first, and then we'll we'll check this out in hand. We'll look at it in hand. Oh, man. Um, just look at this blade. I mean, I really, really, I can't explain to you how much I enjoy uh, grind lines in my blade. I mean, it just adds such a beautiful touch. I mean, I, I love grind lines, man. They are absolutely beautiful. They are beautiful to look at. This one, guys, I'm going to call this a trailing point. I do believe it is a trailing point. It does come up ever so slightly. And, um, well, for me, this reminds me of a trailing point. Some may say no or whatever. It's fine. You can call it what you want. But to me, for just put my eyes on it quick, you know, the first time, I could say that's a trailing point. You know what I mean? It looks like a trailing point, and boy, I'll tell you what, and this thing is made. I, this is a what I call a precision. This is a very, very high quality precision cutter. That's what that 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 is exactly what this is. If you need, or if you are looking for a very, very high quality precision cutter, and you need to do some serious, I mean serious cutting, and you need accurate cuts, accurate, straight, easy. This is these are your these are your knives these Jack Wolf knives because these full these hollow grind knives are just I'm telling you you can only speculate if you don't have one in hand or if you have never experienced one of these you can only assume uh, what it's like you know what I mean you can only 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 assume what it's like. Like I said, they're they're definitely on another level. Um, I have yet. I mean, I think that these are honestly. I'm not just saying it just to say it. I mean, I think that these are some of the best knives in the game today in the hobby. You're not the these. Are, they're just the, the. You know, the truth of the matter is, these are just the best knives. Uh, out there right now they're they're just the best knives you can get if you're looking for a um a serious cutting tool and you really like i said again you really gotta uh the job calls for serious cutting this is what you need right here you're not going to want anything else nothing else because nothing is as thin as this blade let me touch on something as well, which I almost forgot. He switched up his steel to S90V. S90V. I, 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 God, I don't even know what to say. I have one knife in S90V, and it's just, it's a superb, it's a superb cutting steel. It is just top of the top. 
um, one of the best steels, one of the best steels that you could have on your pocket knife. There's the, that's what it is. Um, in the hand ergonomically, you can see how this uh, co contours down. It just comes down gradually. But when you put it in the hand, it was like it was meant uh, it was just meant for the hand. You know what I mean? That sow belly pattern. You can just see, you can see how it looks in your hand. Nice full purchase. Um, it's just, it's a wonderful piece. And I'm just glad to add this to the collection. This makes number 11. This makes number 11. And, uh, well, we're going strong, guys. We've got no intentions on stopping. Um, and, uh, well, at the end of all this, and whenever this is all done, we should have just one spectacular, spectacular collection. It ought to be a... Uh, it ought to be a really, really high-quality collection. It really is going to be something uh, something else. It really is. But there it is, guys. That's the first impressions of the Havelina Jack in this beautiful, fat uh, carbon orange. I mean, it's just... I just wanted to show you that edge real quick. I just wanted to see what it felt like uh, with my uh, rod. I wanted to see, just I wanted to listen to it. That's what I wanted to do. And um, it's just music to your ears. You can see that edge is just super... Uh, the grind is, is very, very even. The grind is very, very even. I mean, you can see, you can see that grind there. Anyway, guys, I'm not going to keep you any longer. Um, I'd appreciate it. Uh, you know, I always do. If I could, uh, if you just want to drop me a, a comment. Give me some feedback. Um, it's always appreciated. If not, you don't want to leave me a comment, then that is fine as well. Uh, but you do know I love reading the comments and I do like the feedback. So the choice is yours. You guys do what you've got to do. But anyway, um, enjoy your Sunday. We've got a lot of running around to do, uh, do today. Um, we really got to get some stuff done, uh, to, uh, today while we've got the chance and, uh, don't forget you've got, uh, RG's live, uh, today, one o'clock or one thirty, I think that's going to be rocking and rolling and it's always a good time. Very, very good time over there. So head on over and see RJ and the gang. And, um, well, I guess I'm going to, uh, let you guys get down the road and, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to say. I know there is, cause as soon as I turn this thing off, it's like, man, eh, uh, well, anyway, all right, guys, be well, be good, be well, be safe. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think, guys. Appreciate you. Take care.